Hello dear students. I am pleased to welcome you all to week 5 of your English literature class. I hope you all are safe and sound at home. Today, we will continue with the rest of the poem, Adventures of Isabel. But, before starting our lesson, let's recap the important points of the previous lesson. Recap In the first 20 lines of the poem, we have read the following points. In the first stanza, we have read that, Isabel was frightened, by a wicked and hungry bear. But Isabel, was not scared. She remained calm and ate the bear. In the second stanza, Isabel met an old cruel witch. The witch tried to turn Isabel, into a toad with her magic spell. But Isabel was neither frightened, nor did she scream. Instead, she turned the witch into milk, and drank her up. Objectives We will be able to achieve the following objectives at the end of today's lesson. 1. To read the given lines with fluency and correct pronunciation. 2. To learn the meanings of difficult words. 3. To comprehend the given lines or stanzas. 4. To complete the given worksheet. Dear students, let's start our lesson. First, we read stanza number 3. Reading Isabel met a hideous giant. Isabel continued self reliant. The giant was hairy, the giant was horrid. He had one eye in the middle of his forehead. Good morning, Isabel, the giant said. I'll grind your bones to make my bread. Isabel, Isabel, didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. She nibbled the zwack that she always fed off. And when it was gone, she cut the giant's head off. Difficult Words and Meanings First, we discuss the difficult words in this stanza. 1. Hideous. It means very ugly or disgusting. 2. Giant. Giant here means large monster. It also means very big, large, or huge. 3. Self-reliant. It means confident or to have confidence in one's own self, or powers. 4. Horrid. Horrid means, horrible, nasty, or evil. 5. Grind. Grind is verb here, and it means to crush to powder, or small pieces. 6. Nibbled. It means she ate or chewed. 7. Zback. Zback is a kind of sweetened and toasted crispy bread. Explanation Now, let's come to the explanation of the third stanza. Here, in this stanza, the poet says, that Isabel met a huge giant, or a horrible monster. The giant's body was hairy. He had only one eye, in the middle of his forehead, and looked horrible. The ugly monster, threatened Isabel, that he would crush her bones, to powder, to make his bread with. But Isabel neither cried, nor did she run in fear. Rather, she remained calm, and ate her favorite bread, Zbak. She finished her bread, and cut off the giant's head, instantly. This stanza shows, the courage of the little girl. With courage and patience, we can overcome, every problem in life. Stanza 4. Now, we are moving to stanza number 4. Let's read the stanza, first. Reading. Isabel met a troublesome doctor. He punched and he poked, till he really shocked her. The doctor's talk was of coughs, and chills. And the doctor's satchel, bulged with pills. The doctor said unto Isabel. Swallow this. It will make you well. Isabel, Isabel, didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. 
she took those pills, from the pill concocter. And Isabel calmly, cured the doctor. Difficult Words and Meanings First, we discuss the difficult words, in this stanza. 1. Troublesome. It means troubling, or nasty. 2. Punch. It means to strike, with close fist. 3. Poke. Poke is verb, and here it means, to hit or punch. 4. Satchel. Satchel means, a small hanging bag. 5. Bulged. Bulged means, to be filled, to overflowing. 6. Concocter. Concocter means maker, manufacturer, or mixer. Explanation Now, let's come to the explanation, of the last stanza. The poet says, in these lines, that Isabel met a doctor. The doctor was nasty, and disturbed. He troubled Isabel, with his punches, and blows. He talked about coughs, cold and pills. And his bag was full of tablets, and medicines. The doctor offered, some pills to Isabel. And told her to swallow them. But Isabel neither screamed, nor was she frightened. She calmly, took the pills. And made the doctor, to swallow them. Thus, she cured the doctor, with her calmness, and cool attitude. Home Assignment Dear students, You are required, to do the following assignments. 1. Write the difficult words, with meanings, on your notebooks at home. 2. Solve the worksheet, given to you, in the Google Classwork Assignment. If you have any difficulty in home assignment, please don't hesitate, to ask your teacher for help. That's all for today. Thank you. And have a nice day.